Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is August 17th, 2023, and before I jump to things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link as well as a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our loser section off here today with Void Winnower from Battle for Zendikar. This mythic is down 5.35% from $40.75 to $38.57 for its market price, and its average price is $49.95. Deadly Rollock here, and this is the borderless copy from Commander Masters, down 6.52% from $18.86 to $17.63 for its market price, and its average price is $22. Arachno Genesis here from Commander 2015, this card is down 6.60% from $43.31 to $40.45 for its market price, and its average price is $36. Sword of Feast and Famine here from the Modern Event Deck. This card is down 9.34% from $33.31 to $30.20 for its market price, and its average price is $33.81. Next up here is Living End from Time Swallowing Master. This card is down 10.17% from $13.67 to $12.28 for its market price, and its average price is $14. Next up is Chandra, Awakened Inferno, and this is the Corset 2020 Mythic. It's down 13.29% from $8.35 to $7.24 for its market price, and its average price is $8.88. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Resplendent Angel here from Corset 2019. This card is up 5.47% from $32.55 to $34.33 for its market price, and its average price is $34.19. The pre-release copy is sitting at $52.62 for its market price, and its average price is $57.86. And the promo pack version of this card from Corset 2020 is sitting at $40.61 for its market price, and its average price is $41.65. This card is being played a ton right now in the Pioneer format in Selesnya Angels, decks as well as commander decks like Giada Font of Hope and also Heliod Suncrown. Next up is Ulmog the Infinite Gyre and this is the borderless copy from Double Masters 2022. It's up 5.84% from $41.61 to $44.04 for its market price and its average price is $45.76. And the Double Masters 2022 copy is sitting at $39.14 for its market price and its average price is $37.79. And the Double Masters foil etched version of this card is sitting at $29.62 for its market price, and its average price is $50. And the textured foil version of this card is currently sitting at $73.40 for its market price, and its average price is $84.15. And the From the Vault Legends version of the card is sitting at $27.10 for its market price, and its average price is $40. And the Modern Masters 2015 copy is sitting at $28.11 for its market price, and its average price is $45.89. And the Ultimate Masters version of the card is sitting at $30.89 for its market price, and its average price is $53.02. And the Box Stopper from Ultimate Masters is sitting at $39.89 for its market price, and its average price is $47.88. And the original copy from Rise of the Eldrazi is sitting at $31.04 for its market price, and its average price is $36.94. And this card is being played a ton right now in the Commander format in decks like Zuladoc, Void Gorger, as well as Kozilek the Great Distortion. Next up is Boseju, who endures from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This card is up 8.63% from $29.08 to $31.59 for its market price, and its average price is $30.89. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $42.25 for its average price, and the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $28.28 for its market price, and its average price is $31.49. And the extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $29.85 for its market price, and its average price is $36.49. And the borderless copy of this card is sitting at $35. 
$35.86 for its market price, and its average price is $39.49. This card is being played a ton right now in the modern format in decks like Crashing Footfalls, Mono Green Tron, 4-5 Color Omnath, as well as Yogmoth decks and Amulet Titan, and it's even being played in the Pioneer format Nykdos Ramp decks. And the next winner on our list today is a Commander of the Brothers War card, Urza's Workshop. It's up 9.06% from $16.22 to $17.79 for its market price, and its average price is $17.70. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $11.66 for its market price, and its average price is $12.22. And this card is being played a ton right now in the Legacy format in Depths decks as well as Painter decks. And this card is also being played in the Commander format in decks like Zulidoc Void Gorger, Kozilek the Great Distortion, and Amarthus Ghostfire Initiate. Next up here is Rise of the Eldrazi from Commander Masters. This is one of the original cards from the Precon. It's up 9.08% from $13.43 to $14.65 for its market price, and its average price is $16. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $11.94 for its market price, and its average price is $14. And yes, you can find this in the Commander Masters Precon Eldrazi Unbound. Next up is Esper Sentinel from Modern Horizons 2. This card is up 9.68% from $24.58 to $26.96 for its market price, and its average price is $25.20. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $42 for its average price, and the showcase version of the card is sitting at $22.05 for its market price, and its average price is $23.83. And this card is being played a ton right now in the modern format in Thopter Combo decks as well as Hammer Time in the modern format. And the next winner on our list today is Luxury Suite from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate. This card is at 15.86% from $7 to $8.11 for its market price, and its average price is $7.06. The pre-release copy is sitting at $7.70 for its average price, and the extended art version of this card from Battle for Boulder's Gate is currently sitting at $7.40 for its market price, and its average price is $7.59. The original copy from Battle Bond is sitting at $7.86 for its market price, and its average price is $8.03, and the Zendikar Rising Expedition version of the card is sitting at $9.97 for its market price, and its average price is $10.56. Next up here is Drana and Limvala from March the Machine. This card is at 49.10% from $2.22 to $3.31 for its market price, and its average price is $2.46. The pre-release copy is sitting at $5.18 for its average price, and the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $1.37 for its market price, and its average price is $2.08, and the showcase version of the card is sitting at $2.64 for its market price, and its average price is $2.50, and this card is being played right now in the modern format in Devoted Combo decks, as well as Commander decks like Edgar Markov, Kali of the Vast, and also Thali and the Git Rog Monster. Our final winner of the day is a rare card from the Lord of the Rings. It's Flame of Anor, and this card is up 49.24% from $2.62 to $3.91 for its market price, and its average price is $3.87. The pre-release copy is sitting at $3.40 for its average price, and the borderless copy of this card is sitting at $4.67 for its market price, and its average price is $4.31. And this card is actually being played a lot right now in the modern format in Crashing Footballs decks as well as Blue Red Control, Living End, and also Murktide Regent. It's even being played in the Legacy format in Is It Control decks. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Ulamog, The Ceaseless Hunger, and this is the borderless copy from Commander Masters. This foil is up 5% today from $21.36 to $22.43 for its foil market price, and its average price is $30.89. Fervent Charge here from Apocalypse, this old frame foil is up 6.74% from $39.29 to $41.94 for its foil market price, and its average price is $33.63. Next up is Ugin the Spirit Dragon here from Corset 2021. This foil is up 8.16% from $23.16 to $25.05 for its foil market price, and its average price is $32.49. Avazin Angel of Hope, and this is the foil edge copy from Commander Masters. It's up 9.40% from $37.86 to $41.42 for its foil market price, and its average price is $50. Smoke Shroud here from Modern Horizons. This foils up 11.17% from $14.14 to $15.72 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.75. 
ancestral statue here from Dragons of Tarkir. This foils up 12.26% from $8.97 to $10.07 for its foil market price, and its average price is $10.10. On to Spirit Dancer, and this is the extended art foil from Commander Masters at 15.28% from $7.33 to $8.45 for its foil market price, and its average price is $11.50. Histrodon from Onslaught, this old frame foil is up 37.07% from $5 to $6.84 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.87. Carlac Fury of Avernus, and this is the etched foil from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate. It's up 38.24% from $5.44 to $7.52 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.17. And our final foil winner of the day is Lucky Clover here from Throne of Eldraine. This foil is up 47.59% from $3.53 to $5.21 for its foil market price, and its average price is $9.89. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards be most surprised to see on the list, and which cards they actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.